How to make chaga tea. Dried chaga mushroom can be found at the health food store. Where I live in Ontario, Canada, you can actually forage your own if you know what to look for. Choose about four to five chunks. I make about one liter each time and chunks can be used about five times. Once the chunks have been wet or used, store them in the freezer, otherwise they'll go moldy. This is how I store my used but still usable mushrooms. I made a label that has the numbers 1 to 5 written on it. Each number represents how many liters I've made and it shows me how many times I can still reuse the chaga. Here you can see that I've made 3 liters and I can still make 2 more. Since I'm going on vacation soon, I'm just going to make the remaining 2 liters and store it in the fridge. It can last about 2 weeks in tea form. So pour your water into a pot, add 4 to 5 chunks of chaga. Use low to medium heat. This is important to retain the beneficial qualities of your tea. Heat it like this for about 20 to 30 minutes. Here is the tea at different stages. Since this is technically my 4th and 5th brew, I have to keep it on the stove for longer to achieve this rich, dark brown color. It took me about 1 hour to get to this point. Then you can drink it as is or add your favorite natural sweetener. Chaga tea is said to support the immune system and be a strong antioxidant. It lowers blood sugar and it's a source of healthy plant sterols to lower bad cholesterol. That's all for now. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and comment below to let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching!